<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing this Gorga day? How are you doing this gorgeous, stunning, wonderful, iconic day? Anyways, you guys, today's video, I am so stoked. Hail to the yeah! So stoked because I got another fan mystery box from a fan who is a fan. That was a fan that I sent money to because she's a fan. And she's from Japan and I am so excited to open this Japan mystery box from Como Barrett. Thank you so much, Como, for literally emailing me and just being so sweet and so kind and asking to send me a Japan mystery box. Of course, I sent you your coin. I sent you your monty. I sent her about, I think, what was it 200 bucks, 250 bucks? I don't remember. I think it was 200 bucks. I sent her 200 bucks to do this little mystery box to kind of see what we can come up with from Japan. And I'm elated to do this. Like, I have an obsession with Japanese culture. You guys, I watch anime. I just, uh, arigato gozaimasu. Oh, hiya. That's Korean, baby hearts, but still, I love Japanese culture, period. I know I did say in a video before that I was gonna be doing an Ireland mystery box unboxing. However, the Ireland box is not here yet, and I have the Japan box, and I'm like, I'm not patient. Does that make sense? I'm not patient. Does it make sense? I'm like, no, I'm not waiting. <laughs> We're opening the Japan box, I have it already, and I'm thrilled. I cannot wait to see what's in here. I'm just so excited. Thank you guys for requesting me to do these unboxing. I think it's really, really, really fun where I send you guys some coins, some cash to create me a mystery box from your country, your town, your state, wherever you might be. And it is honestly such a really, really, really fun experience for me. And I've been enjoying it so much. And I can't wait to do the next one, which will probably be Ireland because that one's on its way. I have no makeup on right now. The hope is that there's makeup in here. I want makeup in every single box so I can try some makeup from around the world. That's what today's video is going to be. As always, if you guys like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. No, with that. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like a mystery unboxings, if you guys like Japan, give it a like and thumbs up. That's the same thing. And subscribe. <laughs> Let's get started. Um, imagine, dude. Imagine like that. And I just cut the, from my widow's peak on. Baby, when I tell you I have a heart-shaped face, it's not even funny. That's a heart, that's a corazón. You guys, by the way, I've been to Japan before and honestly, it was such a divine, wonderful, gorgeous experience. I wanna go back again so bad. It's pink. I fucking love pink. <laughs> okay, you guys, we are fucking here. She filled this bitch to the brim. Come on, Japan. We have these Sanrio characters. Little, like, I think these are little makeup wipes. I think these are little makeup remover wipes. Look how cute they are. It's like the, like the Hello Kitty people, I think. It's like who, yeah, look, there's Hello Kitty right there. There's that little bitch right there. There's that little pissy. There's a little Hello Pissy. I am so excited about this. Like, how cute are these? These are the cutest wipes I've ever seen. We got a little Esponja. You guys, I can't read any of this. That's the real fucking tea. Oh, there's some English in here. How to use, apply water to product and allow it to become. Oh my God, there is English and Japanese on here. What are we? We got some chicle. No, no. Candy box. <coughs> Something smells really strong. Okay, should we try one? I shouldn't be eating candy right now because honestly, I'm already on a good one. It's very chewy and it's almost like gum. Wait, why is there a toothpick in here? Are you supposed to like stab them? They're good, but I have to eat like probably like five at a time to even get a lot of taste. They're like a gummy chalky candy. Next we have these Hello Kitty Peach Five Piece with peach juice. I don't know what that is. Never swallow before chewing. I think it's only cannibalism if you swallow. Eat little by little. Another fucking candy. Wait, this is real. It's like a watery candy. It's like water, but like jelly with fish collagen. Eat little by little, carefully pushing up the bottom of the jelly pouch. So it's literally a jelly. I need you to see this. I need you guys to get into this gig. Look at that. <gasps> Why does it look like a literal like clam tongue? The tongue of a clam. Oh shit. It's kind of good. So it's basically packaged jello. I'm not fucking mad. Next we have this Q as Hello Giddy Hello Gloss. Oh, a gloss. Yeah, another Hello Kitty lip. You guys, this packaging is so freaking cute. Look at those like little, there's like little flowers on it. Embossed. Que curiosito. Next we have this Volume Mascara by Your Glam Volume Lash Mascara. Yo, why do they have like the cutest ass fucking packaging? I mean, this is basic. This is basic as hell, but it's like the outer packaging is really cute. Great marshmallows. Great marshmallows. <sighs> you guys, you know we have to try it. Bro, I'm about to get full as fuck of snacks. Next, you guys, we have some lashes. Look how cute these are. We have eyelashes. Miche Blumen. 
eyelashes. These are probably the smallest lashes I actually own. Now, probably the smallest, thinnest little pair of lashes I've ever seen. Maybe they're just more of like a demure soft thing. I can't imagine big ass lashes in Japan. I just can't fucking picture it. They have Maybelline New York in Japan? Maybelline's worldwide. Hyper sharp liner. Wait, we don't got this here. Do we have this here? But this looks kind of stunning. <gasps> and it's a, it's a brush tip. It's a fucking brush tip. It's brown. It's a brown liner. Oh, I'm ready for this. We have a, another Maybelline New York Lasho Nista limited edition extra pink. Maybelline, US Maybelline. You're gonna have to set your fucking shit up, dude. Look how cute this is. Oh, I like this wand. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, I said that already. Bitch, there's actual fucking fibers in this. There's little hairs, I swear to God. In the formula itself, there's actual hairs in the formula. There's fucking hair in there. <gasps> you guys, this box is like so fucking fun. It's so unique. Oh, just a little fan, a little Japanese fan. A botanical Daiso fan. Yo, this is like not the first fan I've got in a mystery box. Bitches think I love fans. Bitches are right. Look at the craftsmanship. Look at the wealth. Actually, I'm really sweating right now because it's hot in my room. Oh yes, in the pits. Stunning. We have pokey chocolate with like nuts on it. I love nuts and I do mean all nuts. <laughs> Basically all nuts. Pokey almond crunch. Wait, what? We don't got this kind of pokey out here. Almond crunch? Do we have this kind of pokey out here? I don't know. Look at this. Oh my god. That is divine. That is divine divinity. That's the best tasting thing I've tasted so far. That is Gorga. And they sent me different flavor. Bitch, she sent me different flavors. We have strawberry pokey and we have green pokey chocolate. Green chocolate pokey? Why is it green though, if it's chocolate? There's nothing that says anything about a different flavor. Should I try it? I'm a little scared, because I don't like green tea. Is this turning into a mukbang channel? <clears throat> That's not bad. And it does taste like chocolate, but it's just kind of strange. Like it's not a full chocolate taste. We got some Misha 750. Concealer, in light beige, <laughs> it's concealer. I was like, what are you? It's concealer, yes, bitch. And we have this adorable powder cheek Hello Kitty blush. Bitch, we got some makeup. It's not just food, we got some makeup too. From Revlon. They have, ah, I just love that they have other brands in Japan, but like they're different. They're different products because I have never seen the Revlon Rose Glow Hydrating Illuminating Primer out here. Or maybe they do have it, I just don't know about it. They have another cute little gloss. I feel like Japan culture, like Japanese culture for makeup is very uh, minimalistic. It's not super heavy, which of course I still stand, duh. And we have a BB cream. See, this is very Japan culture to me. Very BB cream, soft, lightweight, something subtle for the skin, nothing heavy, nothing crazy. That is this. Ooh, I'm excited to try that. Hopefully these shades work for me. A little Hello Kitty double eyeshadow duo. Okay. From Blooming Kitty by Hello Beauty Selection. I don't even know, does Hello Kitty have her own beauty line there? She's a fucking international bitch, dude. She's crazy. She's the queen bee. We have this adorable Sweets, Sweets Tokyo. This year's 17. Sheer Shadow, Made in Japan. The fact that it says Made in Japan, I'm just like, I love Japan. Next, we have a, I don't know. You guys, I don't know. Made in Japan, Japan quality. It's just a white powder. Maybe this is like their version of a setting powder. Nothing's coming off. It has like little illuminating pieces and like kind of glitter in it. Is it supposed to be a highlighter or like a setting? I'm not sure what the f this is. But we gotta try it. Oh, this looks stunning. Clear mascara. Water resistant, long lasting mascara. Por qué? Why? <gasps> a shirt! Juwakuni, Wakuni. Fuck, I can't read that, dude. J Wakuni, Japan. How gorgeous is this shirt? Oh my God, it's so cute. <gasps> Adorable, look at this dragon. You're the dragon, bitch, the fuck? Dragon, dragon. Yes, get No, no! A Sailor Moon headband? Artemis. The cat, it's the fucking white cat. They're fucking Sailor Moon stockings, Luna. Okay, I actually don't wear stockings like literally at all. I'm not even sure exactly how to wear these. What the fuck do I do with these? They're like panties, right? My ass would never fit in this. My giant ass, baby, where? These are literally stunning. I'm dead, thank you so much. And a black one, and a fucking black one. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh! <laughs> They're fucking cute. <gasps> 
<laughs> I'm weak. This is so fucking adorable. Hey Manny, here's some Sailor Moon goodies from my collection. Como's lingerie, I thought you'd like. XOXO, Como. Baby, do you got your own brand? You got your own brand? You got some your own lingerie? Bitch, that is the cutest thing I've ever fucking seen. We're a food channel. We are a food fucking channel. We have this gorgeous Pikachu Pure. Oh my god, the last thing I didn't like. I'm scared. This hour. Fuck. Oh no. Mmm. Mmm. That shocked me. They're very sour, but they're fucking so good. We have another one. Another powder, but it's Purple. We have another powder. Bet it was purple. Purple powder. It reminds me of like my backdrop. Very hard powder, you guys. It's very it's pressed so hard. It makes no sense. I don't know about this. And then we also have the made in Korea. Made in Korea. Okay, work, bitch. This is the eyebrow pencil. Eyebrow pencil. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna just go in and we're gonna dive in. We're gonna start putting these things on our face and we're gonna see what we think of Miss Japan and her makeup. I'm excited. Also, there's other like candy and stuff like that in here, but there's no way I can spend more time eating candy on a camera. <laughs> okay, perfect. So now all we have on my desk is the makeup portion of this video. Let's zoom on in for this. This is gonna be a challenge. As we have the shade 01 for the BB cream. And that worries me. Am I pale? Yes. Do I think I'm pale? No, but I am. We're gonna put some of this on right here. We have our BB cream. Actually, the color looks pretty great. <laughs> I'm gonna actually take this on a brush. Why is that covering so much for a BB cream? Maybe like BB creams here are like their foundation. You know, maybe that's like what the foundation is. Is it actually just technically a BB cream or they call it BB cream, but it's actually really a foundation because baby, this is giving me like a nice medium coverage. And is it pale? Holy shit, yes. And you guys, a BB cream is a beauty balm. When I worked at Sephora, that was like the differences between like a beauty balm and a CC cream is a color correcting cream. A BB cream is a beauty balm cream and it kind of usually has like more ingredients and it just kind of helps with different things with beauty bombs. You can use them as primers, you can use them for like so many different things, you know, BB creams, you know, as moisturizers, as SPF, like there's so many things that you can use with them or use them as with BB creams. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually very much impressed with the way this looks. However, this is extremely pale for me. And you guys, so the, the fun thing about doing this video, right, is I'm gonna do my makeup how I like to do my makeup, right? I'm gonna try to incorporate these products on how I would do my face. How I do makeup for myself might not be the way that Japan culture does makeup or how they do it might not be the way I do my own makeup. So I think that's like the fun part about doing this video is trying to incorporate their products into my routine and seeing if it works for me. And if it not, that's totally fine. We live in different parts of the world. I don't live in Japan. <laughs> oh fuck, I forgot the fucking Revlon. Hydrate me. Let's pretend I'm hydrated with Miss Rose Glow. Let's just pretend, okay? I didn't expect it to cover this much. I actually, I was expecting a lot less coverage. I was expecting much more sheer to be honest, but it actually is giving me like a nice medium buildable coverage. Like I'm a little impressed. And by little, I mean a lot. So now I'm gonna go and take a concealer. This looks a much darker than my foundation. <laughs> or my BB cream. Oh, and this is in the shade Light Beige. Oh shit, that is much different than the, sh than the shade. Oh yeah, that's a, a full-blown beige. Full-blown beige. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> so listen, that is not my shade. <laughs> but what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take that BB cream. Take our little sponge that they got with this too, little spongy. And we're gonna mix it. And we're gonna pretend like it's gonna match me perfectly, okay? The concealer, it's not my shade, so I can't really give you a good like depiction of if it's covering, like really, oh shit, it's like coming off my face. Ooh, okay, hold up, hold up. Oh, I don't know what it is. I think it's a sponge that's actually taking off my foundation or my BB cream. That's not good. It's like literally taking it off. Oh, okay, go back to the brush. Go back to the brush. Get off the roof, get off the roof, get off the roof. Get off the roof, get off the roof, get off the roof. Get off the roof. Come on, Mulan. Do you guys remember that scene in Mulan? Don't like that sponge just because I feel like it was actually taking off my my face. That's very strange because I don't, that doesn't happen with sponges usually for me. It stays. And it felt different. It's expanded gorgeously, but it does feel a little different. It feels like almost like silicone-y. But my nose is rejecting this. Whatever this is, like, do you see my nose? It's rejecting life itself. You guys, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> what's happening here? The BB cream is drying very strange. There's like spots on my face that are like picking up and like they're bunching together and it doesn't even make any sense to me. Like what's happening on my nose is happening on my forehead as well. And it's like, I don't know. 
I don't know about Miss BB or the concealer. I don't know about them. We're gonna have to move on. I'm very confused. We're gonna take this little powder because it's the only powder I have here to see if like this will set my under eye. Shit, I'm nervous guys. I don't even know what it is. That's the real tea because it didn't say. I'm just gonna assume that it is for setting. I'm just gonna use it to set. Okay, it's setting, but it's giving me like a really intense sheen under my eyes. You guys, I'm just gonna use this everywhere so that I can kind of like, that sheen will help kind of mask what's actually going on underneath it. I think that's what's gonna happen. We're gonna use that to mask our indiscretions. It's not doing anything. I mean, it's barely setting me in at all. <sighs> okay. You know what the thing is though, you guys, I could just be using these products wrong because I just don't know how to use them. I'm just literally using them as like someone who would wear all the time would use it. If you guys have seen these products before, you guys know anything about these products and you guys know the tea, please comment down below. If you live in Japan and you know about these Japanese products and if I'm using them wrong, please let me know. But I'm doing the best that I can. I promise you guys I am doing the best that I possibly can. So I'm gonna move on. There's no bronzer here, by the way. There's literally no bronzer. And I don't know, maybe they just don't do bronzer in Japan. Y'all do bronzers in Japan. So I'm gonna go and take the Hello Kitty powder cheek. I'm gonna take a little bit of blush. Oh, I'm so excited about Miss Hello Kitty. How cute is this? Ooh, swatches very gorgeously. Stunning. It's a powder blush. That's a really pretty color. Hmm. Okay, it's very pigmented though. I can already tell from the off the bat. It's pigmented. It's very gosh. It's not like bubble gum. Bubble gum. Oh my God. That's odd phrasing. Bubble gum pink. I feel like they're very blush heavy in Japan and not bronzer heavy at all. <laughs> I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this, y'all. For real, for real. I've never looked like this. I think it's giving me some dimension again, you know? I needed the dimension. I needed a desperado. Just a little bit on the nose too. Do you guys see this nose breaking apart on me? I don't know why. We have no highlighter here. We have just blush and BB cream in. <laughs> and this is my cheeks look like. Honestly, the blush is gorgeous. The blush actually really did that. It brought me together because I was a little nervous. I'm draped right now. I think it was called draping. That's what it's called when you're only using blush to give you life to the cheek. It's called draping. So I'm draping right now. We're draped in the sheets. This is a gorgeous color, by the way. It looks really, really pretty on my skin. I'm just very confused with what's happening on my skin right now. Okay, we have our little brow pencil now in the shade Dark Brown. We have a very large end on here. It's a very large end, like mine. My end is large as fuck. Y'all know I got a big end. And then we have a little spoolie on this side. So we're gonna try this out today and we're gonna just see what is happening. It's literally like metal, it's like aluminum. It's like aluminum, the product itself. Oh, the product itself is actually very like a, uh, almost like a powdery consistency, powdery and pigmented. The color though, the red undertone of it all, honey. No, 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 not this red. Oh my God, no. It looks like lip liner. You guys know, this is by far the warmest dark brown brow pencil I've ever tried. I'm gonna finish the other brow off camera and prep the eyes for some maquillage and we'll be right back. So we are back and the brows are filled. Japan edition, back and the brows are filled. Back in the brows are filled. Back in the brows are filled. And they are warm as warm can be. Ooh. You guys, I've never looked like this pale, <laughs> this blushed, and this warm in the brow. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the next product, now, shall we? We have this Hello Kitty Eyeshadow 01 mini palette. And then we also have this shadow as well. So I primed my eyes, by the way, so we have these little shadows to use on the lid and eye. So we have these little duos. For some reason, I thought this was gonna be matte. I am wrong, I thought wrong. Ooh, it feels very, s felt very soft, it did. Ooh, that is nice. That second one was really nice. And then we have this shadow palette here. These look so cool in pan, like they look stunning. Oh, wow. They are very chunky, I will not lie. Some of the chunkiest shadows I've ever actually seen in my whole existence, in my whole life. Um, do you guys see that? You guys see that chunk? It's like chunky pressed glitter is what's happening here. We got some chunky pressed glitter right there. Okay, so we're gonna go in with that little brown, that duo. We're gonna take that little duo that we have here, this little moment. We're gonna put that, we're actually gonna combine them both because I need to lighten the color itself. We're gonna put that into the crease, I think. 
just to kind of give me that depth, give me that kind of definition. It's a little bit of a sheen, a little bit of shimmer, but honestly, what's wrong with a little bit of shimmer in the, in the crease? What's wrong with it? There's nothing wrong with a little shimmer in the crease, okay? And don't ever let anyone tell you different. So it's a very cool toned shade. It's gonna definitely give me a lot of depth to create a crease. Honestly, the shadow is very pretty. It's very pigmented. It's blending super easily, which I enjoy. And that's awesome. Look at that. Super easy to blend. Okay, let's try a little bit of that glittery shade. We're gonna take that one. We're just gonna toss it onto the lid. I think with glitter glue, it might look really, really pretty because it is literally like just pressed chunky glitter. And this is like, essentially. So we're just gonna put that onto the lid. To the crease a little bit, like that. Oh my God, I feel like I'm a little kawaii girl. I literally feel like a little kawaii girl. Taking that brown liner, we're gonna line the liner area. It looks pretty on the eyes, you guys, honestly. Even though it was really chunky, <laughs> and I would suggest a glitter glue, it looks really pretty on the eyes. Look at that. Looks pretty. Ooh, that liner is sickening. Look at that brown liner, you guys. Look at that. Oh my God, that's really nice. Hyper sharp from Maybelline. Maybelline is not playing in Japan, bitch. Cute. You guys, we're gonna take that little mascara, the pink one, because it just looked, it was looked so intense because it has like fibers in it. It has little fibers in it, you guys. I'm very interested in this. I'm very intrigued by this little fiber mascara. I'm just gonna try it out and see what we think. I also like the way the wand is shaped. I love this like U-shape wand. It's my favorite kind of wand for mascara. Coating it nicely. It's not thickening like I thought it was gonna be, honestly, with the little bit of fibers in it. Hmm. I'm a little shocked. But I do see little, oh my gosh. It's making them longer. It's absolutely making my lashes longer with those little fibers, dude. Oh my gosh, it's literally making it longer. Thickening, no. But making it longer, yes. What the heck? I will say they're very stringy though. <laughs> what I wish that this did, I wish it actually like coated my, my lashes well and made them thick and longer. Thick and longer, oh! Chef's kiss. We love them thick. We love them long. These are just making them longer and they're very skinny. Very, very skinny spider-like <laughs> lashes. Wow, coating it more like it's really making a difference. Look at that. Whoa, whoa. And also like the formula itself, it's drying so rapidly. Like it makes it like really intense. It's like almost like coating my lashes in liquid lipstick. Like it's so dense of a formula. It's very hard to explain. I've never felt a mascara like this in my whole life. It looks a little weird to me, to be honest. It's very spidery and kind of like chunky and goopy and it's kind of like a lot going on. Those little fibers are like all over the place. I don't know about that, dude. I don't know about that. Don't know about that one. Okay, I'm gonna go finish my eyes off of camera and I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay guys, so what I ended up doing is stacking both pairs of lashes, the cute little pairs of lashes that we got. I just stacked both of them to kind of give me a little bit more of a, a lash, if you will. You know, I'm not really going for the natural lash look. That's not my makeup style. Maybe it is J in Japan, like they like more of a natural uh, wispy effect. Totally great, obviously. Um, for me personally, I just like a little bit more of a va va boom, more intensity, if you will. So this is what I like. I feel like this is a lot better with two pairs stacked, period. So now I'm gonna go in with the little lip gloss. This is one of the lip glosses, the Hello Kitty lip glosses. And I just wanna see how it goes on. Mm-hmm. It's like a pinky colored gloss, pinky peach. I'm not gonna lip bun either. I feel like lip bunning is not the Japan way. Okay, so we used that one. So now why don't we go in with the little tube one too. I'm just curious to see what the tube one looks like as well. I might as well just use them both. That one feels actually really good. Really nice, lightweight, not sticky. Nice. Take this one a little bit. I'm gonna put that in the top. For more, oh yeah, this is much more of like a shiny. Juicy gloss, this one, I like that better. And the first one, I like that more. It's more of like a juicy effect. And that's that. That is that on that. That is, you guys, I've used everything makeup wise that was here in my vicinity. This one's so, like, I like the gloss a lot. It's really pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm done, you guys, I'm done. I'm done using my full face of this Japan mystery box. I am so thrilled to have received this box. I appreciate it. So, so, so much. Huge thank you again to Como for doing this with me. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I had so much fun creating this video and testing out Japan makeup. And the, I think the beauty about this video, guys, I get to test different products from around the world. This is person that sent it to me. That's what they enjoy, you know? And that's what they like. And I think that even though not all the products here worked for me and I didn't love all the products here, 
like the beautiful thing about it is that like different people love different things and that's like the cool thing about getting to do a testing different kind of things from different places around the world video like this is like oh, i would have never tested any of these products i would never give them a try oh, and it's like so cool to get to try them out and see for myself if i personally like them or not i think that's the beauty in it you know that's the beauty of makeup everyone's gonna like different things and different cultures are gonna like different things when it comes to makeup and i think that's like why i'm having so much fun with this series and this is more of a japan beauty more blushy really fair on the face you know soft eyes a really pretty like pinky lip i think that that's very much japan beauty to me so i had so much fun filming this with you guys honestly it was so much fun i loved all the candy all the goodies everything the shirt it was fantastic. Thank you so much, Kumo, for this. I appreciate it so much, and I cannot wait for my next one. Another gorgeous box from around the world down. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good rest of the night or day wherever you guys are, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, I love you. Mwah. <laughs> Bitch, can you fucking come out of here? Get out of here. Fuck, that was metal. Oh my God, fuck, fuck, fuck. Just give me chills everywhere, all my body. Not biting onto tin and metal. Bro, I really can't open this fucking thing. <laughs> Is this a sick joke for real? What? Get her out, Zaya, get out of here. Okay. I'm gonna break a fucking crown. The taste was fine. However, I will break a veneer. I will break one right fucking now. Yeah, I will.